would go back and, you know, I'd completely do it differently, but uh, I can't. Baker Mayfield says he knows he went over the line and how he acted at the Kansas game Saturday. Specifically, these actions we blurred out and zoomed in on the video to cut out. Today, the Big 12 agreed with the OU quarterback, announcing a public reprimand for, quote, inappropriate gestures and for yelling profanity at the Kansas bench and fans. The conference's reprimand comes a day after OU head coach Lincoln Riley announced Mayfield will not start in the Sooners' regular season finale Saturday in Norman against West Virginia, and he won't serve as a team captain either. Big 12 Commissioner Bob Bowlesby sent out a statement today that read in part, Mr. Mayfield's actions are unacceptable and should not be tolerated. Baker Mayfield is a truly outstanding competitor, and I generally appreciate his style of play and the manner in which he competes. However, the behavior he exhibited was inappropriate and contrary to our sportsmanship policies. It's been a tough few days for Mayfield, but he's confident the tough times will pass. The best for me, I think, is still yet to come. And this needs to be a, a learning experience, and I need to move forward. But I still, still believe that I can show. I've made a lot of mistakes, but I can be a good person to look up to. Some good news for OU now. The Sooners are still number four in today's new college football playoff ranking, so they would make the playoffs if the season ended today. Oklahoma State fell six spots after losing to Kansas State from 13th to 19th. TU's disappointing season comes to an end Saturday at home against Temple. The Golden Hurricane hopes it ends on an up note. Tulsa is trying to snap a four-game skid and pick up only its third win of the season. Five of TU's nine losses this year will buy a touchdown or less. Head coach Philip Montgomery says he doesn't know if he's ever had a season like this, and there's no doubt it's frustrating. I've been proud of our young men and the way they've handled it. But for me, there's been a lot of sleepless nights and just trying to make sure that we're giving our guys the best opportunity to win each and every week. Hoops now with Stu versus Pitt in the Legends Classic Constellation game in Brooklyn. Jeffrey Carroll with a career-high 29 points, for which he wins 73-67. It's a nice win for the Pokes.